On a clear night, if you look up, you can see the stars, thousands, scattered across the sky like dust. But what you're seeing is only a fraction of our galaxy. The Milky Way alone holds over 100 billion stars. Most of those stars have planets. Many of those planets sit in the habitable zone, not too hot, not too cold. And some of those worlds might look a lot like Earth. Now zoom out. There are two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. That's more planets than grains of sand on Earth. So here's the big question. If the ingredients for life are so common, where is everybody? In 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi was having lunch with colleagues at Los Alamos. The topic of UFOs came up, jokingly, but Fermi, brilliant and blunt, paused and asked, But where is everybody? His question wasn't about little green men, it was about scale and time. If a civilization developed interstellar travel, even at 1% the speed of light, it could colonize the galaxy in a few million years. That's a flash, compared to the 13.8 billion year age of the universe. So, if intelligent life is common, why hasn't anyone gotten here yet? In 1961, astronomer Frank Drake proposed a way to estimate how many civilizations might be out there. It's called the Drake Equation. How many stars form each year? What fraction have planets? Of those, how many support life? How many evolve intelligence? And crucially, how long do those civilizations last? The answers are still uncertain. But even conservative guesses suggest that the universe should be teeming with intelligent life. And yet, crickets... There are many possible answers to the paradox, and none are fully satisfying. Maybe life itself is extremely rare. Complex life might require a freak combination of events, like Earth's large moon, magnetic field, plate tectonics, or the perfect mass extinction. Maybe intelligent life is a one-in-a-trillion outcome. Maybe we're just early. The universe is still young, cosmically speaking. Civilizations might still be forming. We could be among the first. Maybe advanced civilizations don't want to be found. This is the zoo hypothesis. We're in a cosmic wildlife reserve. Or maybe they're avoiding attention for a darker reason. Maybe they're so advanced they don't use radio, ships or megastructures. A Type 3 civilization could harness a galaxy's energy. But what if that energy is locked in quantum fields or black hole computing? Would we even know what to look for? Civilizations might self-destruct, war, climate collapse, unchecked AI. Or maybe intelligent life tends to burn out fast, flashing and fading like cosmic fireflies. This leads us to a disturbing idea, the Great Filter. A stage in evolution that's almost impossible to pass. Maybe it's the leap from single cell to complex life. Or maybe it's ahead of us. Like surviving artificial superintelligence. If so, the silence isn't reassuring. It's a warning. But there's another possibility. Maybe we're the first. The seed of intelligence in a quiet universe. If so, we're not just lucky. We're responsible. Because we may shape what intelligent life becomes in the cosmos. That's why we listen. That's why we explore. Because silence doesn't mean nothing is out there. It might just mean it's waiting. So... Where is everybody?